Uh, well, that's actually into today's video. It's Jan A Friday. We're going to have a look at weather for the coming month from the Japanese model. I think we'll be seeing some quite cool weather, really, uh, through May. It is shaping up to be a relatively changeable month, I think. And we might just get our first cooler than average uh, month. It wasn't really predicted by a May month head forecast, but looking at the anomalies that are coming through... Uh, today, I think we could be on course for uh, a pretty cool May. And uh, this update is going to take us into the start of June as well, just into the start of the, the summer. Now, before I go over that, just to say about the ads, there's links to articles on all of the pages at gasweathers.com. Have a browse through the widgets. If there's any articles that you're interested in, please click through. And you'll be able to go off and read the article. And because you're clicking from Gasweathers to where an article is, we get a review fee on what you're doing. Thanks very much for doing that. There's also video ads on most pages at gasweathers.com. Have a wash of those. It'll open out within the content. And then they'll close back up again. Um, when you've watched them, so have a look and see what they're about. If you're noticing a bit of a difference with the uh, microphone, I've uh, worked out what the problem was when the video cut off on Friday. It was the uh, it was the microphone I was using. Um, well, I've been using it over the past few months. Not sure what went wrong with it, but I'm back to using the inbuilt microphone within the camera. It's not as good. Uh, a quality microphone uh, by any means, but at least it gets the job done. I'll have to sort out a new uh, sort of uh, proper microphone uh, in a few days. So I uh, hope it uh, doesn't sound too bad anyway. Right, let's get on with the uh, update. We can see. Uh, first of all, with the central England temperature, where we're currently standing uh, with May after around a week, the uh, central England temperature provisionally is at 10.2 uh, at the moment, which is an anomaly of just 0.3 of a degree uh, above average. And as, as I say, that's up to uh, the 7th of May, um, so up to yesterday. So we're only just running ever so slightly above average, and if that was corrected down, as I suppose it probably will be, we're probably about bang on uh, the average. And with cool anomalies seemingly coming up uh, over the next few weeks, uh, I think we could have the possibility here, probably no more than that, but we have got the possibility of a cooler than average month. Here's the uh, JMA 500 mm height anomaly uh, chart for the coming week. These are broken down to week periods and they go through uh, the month. So the first week period takes us from the 8th through to the 15th of May, so the week that we're uh, currently starting and uh, with this one, we can see that we've got the above average heights down to the south. So high pressure ridging through the uh, southern part of, Medi uh, 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 Europe into the central bowl of the Mediterranean. Low pressure is up to the north and out in the Atlantic. And the jet stream is coming right through the country uh, with that one. So it's relatively unsettled. Of course, with the Atlantic uh, air coming in, um, it's going to be relatively cool uh, as well. We will get a little push up in temperatures from Sunday through. Uh, well, it looks like going to last into uh, Monday now. Tuesday is looking significantly cooler on this morning's uh, GFS. We'll have a look at all that, uh, I think, tomorrow on the week ahead forecast. But uh, if it's just uh, sunny to Tuesday or sunny to Monday, it's not going to last long. We'll have a little push up in temperatures. But overall, that's an unsettled pattern and a relatively cool one uh, as well. Have a look at the next week period. This one takes us from the 15th to the 22nd of May. And it's all very similar, uh, really. So the trough of low pressure is still in the Atlantic and to the north of the country. The ridge is down to the south, maybe ridging a little bit closer to southern England. But the jet stream still really running through the country. So again, relatively unsettled, relatively cool conditions as well. No sign uh, of uh, improvement in terms of high pressure building up, really, through that middle part of May. There was a suggestion when we did the May month head forecast that the high pressure might build in uh, through the middle part of May in particular. But uh, I think the JMA is backing off that idea a little bit, uh, to be honest, at the moment. And it looks like staying particularly unsettled up in the north through the middle part of the month. And then as we move through to the final two week period, this takes from the 22nd of May to the 4th of June. So it's just going into the very start of summer. A little bit difficult to work out what's going on here, but we've got a bit of a ridge out to the west of the country. And then we've got a trough to the east and the northeast. And uh, the jet stream is probably going something uh, like that. So although we've got a ridge close to us, close to the west anyway, 
Um, it's probably quite cool, really, with that. We're probably bringing down sort of northwesterly, northerly type influences. And if that trough is deeper than that is indicating over Scandinavia, that could be relatively cool and unsettled sort of conditions. There's no sign there about high pressure really bedding in. Although I suppose with the ridge building up, it might be the start of something. But overall, I would suspect it's probably turning a bit drier for the last stages of May, perhaps on that uh, scenario, but staying generally quite uh, unsettled. So that was the Northern Hemisphere view. This is the mid-latitude view uh, from the JMA mod. Just see how the temperatures uh, break down with this. So this is the 500 meter height anomaly for uh, the coming weekly uh, period. The British Isles is just here in the far top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. In terms of the temperature uh, anomaly, it comes out um, a little bit below average, really, for most parts of the country, more or less in most blue colours. So uh, I think the South could be a little bit warmer, of course, without pushing the temperature from uh, Sunday, uh, Monday, definitely, possibly lasting into Tuesday as well. But the North and West like to be a bit cooler uh, than average. But rainfall anomaly coming out significantly wetter than average in the north and west, a little bit above average even uh, down in the south of the country. As we run through to the second week period, remember the second week period goes from the 15th through to the 22nd of uh, May. This one shows that uh, the temperature anomaly is again coming out cooler or uh, cooler than average there across most parts of the country and in terms of the precipitation anomaly it's wetter than average in the north and around or maybe even a little bit drier than average in the south so it's just a sign perhaps that the high pressure is trying to reach to the south of the country but overall the jet stream coming through the country and the areas off the atlantic so it's relatively cool uh, really and then we go through to the next uh two week period before i do it period just takes into the start of June, and it does turn a bit dry. Then remember, at this point, the ridge is building out to the west of the country, so the uh, rainfall anomaly is coming out a little bit on the drier side. Um, and in terms of the temperatures, though, it's still cool with that high pressure sitting just to the west. As I said we'd probably bring down sort of northwesterly airflows, so uh, the temperature anomaly comes out a bit cooler than average. So overall, I think the JMA is indicating here the chance of a cooler than average month first proper call of an average month of the 2015 and of course you have to go quite a way back into 2014 to find a cool average. I think the last one really was uh, August 2014. Uh, the CFSV2 500 meter bar high knowledge stacking up like this we've got the ridge down to the south and the trough is in the Atlantic so all very very similar to the JMA um, and the jetson coming through the country like that over the last few weeks, there's been remarkable agreement between the CFS and the JMA uh, models. I'm sure if you've been watching these longer range look heads that we do on a Friday, you'll have noticed that there has uh, been an alignment, uh, really, between the JMA and the CFS. They used to be uh, disagreeing a lot, but over the past few weeks, uh, there has been an alignment. Whether there's been some sort of tweaking of the models going on, I'm not sure, but they do show remarkable uh, agreement just at the moment. The uh, next uh, chart goes from the 14th to the 20th of May, so through that middle part of the month, where when we did the May month air forecast, it was suggested we might get some high pressure, but uh, no, not on this update from the CFS. We've got the trough actually moving down into the country through the middle part of the month, so that's turning even cooler and even more unsettled through this period that would be a very uh, cool and unsettled period indeed we go through to the next week period going from the 21st to the 27th of may uh, a little bit of a change we've got ridge building up to the northeast and uh, out in the central part of the atlantic as well so now we start to deviate a little bit from uh, the CFS perhaps. Um, still think that could be quite unsettled though, but jet stream could be going something like that. So uh, although we're not under green colours, we could be under an upper trough through that period, perhaps keeping it cooler and unsettled. And then finally we go through to the final week period. This takes us into the start of the summer from the 28th of May through to the 3rd of June. And then we do get the ridge building into us from the northeast. So uh, the flow starts to go like that. That would turn it warmer and drier right at the very end of May and into the start of June uh, with a reasonably warm start to the summer. The temperatures from the CFSB2 stack up like this, the 7th to the 13th of May, 
coming out cooler than average across the whole country in most green colours. The next week you appear going from the 14th to the 20th of May. Uh, again, another cooler than average period coming up. Uh, the next weekly period going from the 21st to the 27th of May. Again, it's cool now. So if these models are right, it's a big if. They are experimental. They're long range. But if they're right, we're looking at our first cooler than average month since August 2014. And then finally, right at the very end, on the 28th to the 3rd of June chart, we find the temperature anomalies coming nearer to normal. Uh, not going above average yet, but certainly starting to pick up compared to where we are through most of uh, May. So, uh, in summary, I think we're going to be potentially, even quite possibly, looking at our first call of an average month for a long time, since August 2014. If this wasn't really indicated by my May month head forecast, if it's just come off, uh, I think the May month head forecast won't be a very good one to to say the least. I didn't have very good confidence in it, but it looks like it's going to be a bit of a stinker. But let's wait and see on that to we get to the end of the month. But there's good agreement here between the CFS and the JMA for quite an unsettled uh, May. The unsettled pattern set to continue um, and quite cool as well. Uh, so not great if you want some early summer conditions. May pick up a little bit once we get through to the very end of the month, start of June. It's weekend forecast tomorrow, so come back for that. Uh, and that's all for now. Thanks for watching.